All right. right. Yes. In the tradition of Peter Parker and Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, mild-mannered rapper Jamal May took on the pseudonym Versus. <laughs> but way less ceremoniously, because I didn't know anyone would expect some kind of crazy origin myth to go along with it. Look, I'm sorry. I don't descend from a distant planet. Mine hasn't been destroyed yet. And I've never been bitten by anything except my twin sister, <laughs> who is not radioactive. Which didn't stop me from climbing the furniture and swinging from the inside of the door frame, which made my parents climb the walls, which made me think maybe they have spider powers. Of course they passed those genes along to me, so everything in my house looked like the Empire State Building, and I was gonna climb that shit. But it's still, there was no Olympian rite of passage for me. I just grew up and became Came as novice, trapped in a dingy basement, recorded every boom to the baps, and there was already a rapper who had the name Jamal. So out of thin air, I fabricated verses and forever doomed myself to have to answer dramatic questions like, Young Sage, from where did you receive your name? <laughs> and that's when I want to lay out the legend of my birth. And that's when I want my birth to be marble and a tangle of glass. I want to be able to tell you about my boat training with Athena and Green Arrow, about my foot races with Hermes and the Flash. I want to be able to tell you about that one time when I descended deep into the pits of Tartarus to battle Hades for my tongue and a slip of parchment bearing my new name scrawled in golden letters like Versus. <laughs> but I just end up telling the truth. I turned 30 this year, and I thought by now my music would have already saved the world. It's huh. what we spent recess doing. We were the defenders, and I'm telling you, I could wield a phaser like nobody's business, a plasma rifle at long range, a quarter staff, and a pinch. We had your back. We were right there, defending a future we somehow knew existed just beyond that chain link fence, even as we failed to predict the betrayal of our own bodies as they conspired against us to lower our voices, stiffen our muscles, and shut off our hearts one by one. When we were city boys, and city boys pinned nicknames to each other like medals. City boys always told handles like Ghost, and Versus, and Jurgens, whose real name was Carlos. <laughs> which we shortened to the word Los, which was close enough to the word Lotion to become that, and eventually, Jurgens. <laughs> Trust me, this is what grew us up. This is what gave us the guts we needed to go outside and defend our city from gargoyles and their shadows. And I swear to you, sometimes when thunderheads chase the sun away, Detroit looks like Gotham, not Metropolis, a place where the darkness sits like a judge. And sometimes Detroit looks like Gotham eating Metropolis alive. <laughs> so maybe it is stupid to want to switch names and try to leap over abandoned buildings, but haven't you always wanted to be known by the name worn by the warrior in your belly? Maybe it is stupid to want to try to save a city that's been trying to devour you since you were born, but nice. haven't you mm -hmm. ever wanted to save something with magnificent teeth? Mm -hmm. <laughs>